Everything here is because I wanted to build one of those, because I fell in love with one many years ago. I went to culinary school not for baking or pastry or anything. I went for a straight culinary figure and I was going the chef path. Baking and I kind of found each other and it turns out in the beginning it was a nice kind of marketable niche in the food industry because both pastry and culinary sides kind of seem to think that a lot of bread is like magic and <laughs> they don't want to deal with it. So being able to kind of master it got me a couple good opportunities. I get a real deep sense of satisfaction like this moment right here. When I, when, when I pull stuff out and everything turned out right, it's something in me. It's, it's some bug that I caught a while ago. Um, I, I don't know, maybe it's the, you know, just the human primal thing about the like, comfort of warm, warm bread and everything. But this moment when everything comes out is like a culmination of all my work. The building of the oven and the skills that I've amassed over time. It's sort of like kind of affirmation that I actually do know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> you know, as one of my heroes, Adam Savage, famously said, the only difference between screwing around and science is writing it down. So I take copious notes, especially when things go wrong. Like, it's a lot easier for me to sort of isolate variables when stuff fails, rather than when everything's right. Because when it's all right, then what, what is there to know? When the stuff comes out looking good, that's a good day. When it comes out looking bad, that's a learning opportunity. <laughs>